A loss of an historic building right in the middle of the U District. Many of you watched our live stream on King5.com as flames shot out of the Seven Gables Theater just after noon today. You can see the fire was intense, giving firefighters only one option to fight it from outside. Here's a look at the theater. Now that most of the flames are out, the theater is destroyed. What's left of the building just smoldering. And if you're not familiar with the Seven Gables Theater, it's on the northwest corner of Roosevelt Way and Northeast 50th, right by UW. And that's where our Paris Thomas is tonight on Christmas Eve. Paris, this is historic, but it had been closed for several years, right? Yes, that's right. The theater had actually been closed since 2017, and because of this, that's why crews are being forced to fight the fire from the outside, and they're actually still working on it now. You'll see their trucks here. They were actually just shooting water into it not too long ago, and you can still see smoke coming from the building, and because of the heavy smoke and concerns about the integrity of the building, that's what's keeping firefighters from entering at this time, but crews have been on the scene for several hours fighting this fire, and we're told about 175 firefighters were called to help get things under control and they're fighting it from the outside again because of the smoke which is preventing them from being able to see inside and they're uncertain of how strong the floors are since it's been vacant for so long but neighbors say they predicted something like this would happen and they even tried to warn the city my concern was since we've had a fire behind the building that tree behind the building went up in flames about a year ago because people were cooking drugs under there the encampment down the street was in flames just a month ago because of the same thing. And I told them that this is going to happen here and there are people squatting in the building and they just didn't do anything about it. Now the good news is no one was hurt as far as what we know right now. And we're told the fire department will be investigating once they're actually able to get inside. But of course we'll have much more on this on King 5 News at 5 o'clock. For now, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, thank you, Paris. And breaking news, a uh, large unexplained power outage right now in Seattle's Beacon Hill neighborhood. Seattle City Lights says about 2,200 customers do not have power, and you can see where those outages are spreading east towards Seward Park as well. The cause of the outages is still under investigation, and as soon as we find anything out, we'll certainly let you know.